results of the MSU corn and soybean performance trials will be available soon. And there's a change at the top for consumers' energy. We're proud to serve electric and natural gas to 30,000 of the 52,000 Michigan farms. I'm Janelle Bros, and this is Farm News 5. Farm News 5 is brought to you by Ford. Michigan State University is releasing its 2020 corn and soybean performance trials. Conducted annually, the trials are designed to offer farmers, extension personnel, and seed companies with an unbiased look at the performance of hybrids submitted to the university by private seed companies. Emergence of COVID-19 this past spring left researchers wondering if they would even be able to conduct the trials this year. The university, because of the COVID, limited us to two locations per zone of research. I think the biggest factor is water. Where was water and where there was no water? And that, and at critical times, right? That is probably the key point to make, right? Is that where they had water, you know, you're up in 243 irrigate, irrigated, the average is at 243, non-irrigated, dry land averages 240, almost 243 again, right? When did the water happen? Right after planting, we had uh, big events that drowned out corn, poor stands, and that becomes a challenge when you think of, now we only have two locations per zone, right? And so it has been a challenge for us to get our data out in time because we are scrutinizing that so that we're confident that you're confident that the data you receive from us is at the top quality data. Coming up, the Soybean Performance Trials Report is now online. There's torque, then there's 1,050 pound-feet of available best-in-class torque. There's towing, then there's up to 37,000 pounds of available best-in-class towing. There's backing up a trailer, then there's backing up with available class-exclusive pro-trailer backup assist. In other words, there are trucks, and then there's the new Ford Super Duty, the most capable heavy-duty pickup truck ever built. Planting went as planned, and aside from some dry spots in West Michigan, MSU's soybean performance trials went off without a hitch, despite the challenges presented by the COVID-19 pandemic. A warmer-than-expected November certainly helped with harvest, too. We had almost 200 different varieties from 19 different seed companies here this year. Most of our trials had pretty good yields. We'd have high plots in the mid-60s or so, and we'd have some plots that would end up in the 40s. But we had a pretty good range, and we didn't really have any one field or location that stuck out a lot more than the others. The 2020 soybean variety trials will be available in the November 30th edition of the Michigan Farm News, with the corn variety trials to follow in the December 15th edition. Data will also be available online at varietytrials.msu.edu. Up next, there's a change at the top for consumers' energy. Planning for 2019 and beyond? Foster Swift's Ag Law team offers comprehensive legal counsel for farmers and businesses. Patty Poppy, President and Chief Executive Officer at CMS Energy, is stepping down next month to take over as CEO of California's PG&E Corporation. Garrick Rochow will succeed Poppy at CMS Energy. Rochow has been with the company for 17 years and has spent the last four years heading up CMS Energy's electric and natural gas distribution and transmission operations and compression operations. Congratulations to the Michigan Farm Bureau on the first 100 years. We look forward to continuing this great partnership and the great things we do together to help Michigan farmers and agriculture move on for the next 100 years. For more news and video, visit michiganfarmnews.com or the Michigan Farm Bureau channel on YouTube. With Farm News 5, I'm Janelle Bros. Have a great week of farming.